McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle is an American twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter aircraft designed by McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing. Following reviews of proposals, the United States Air Force selected McDonnell Douglas's design in 1969 to meet the service's need for a dedicated air superiority fighter. The Eagle first flew in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. It is among the most successful modern fighters, with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat, with the majority of the kills by the Israeli Air Force.23 The Eagle has been exported to Israel, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. The F-15 was originally envisioned as a pure air superiority aircraft. Its design included a secondary ground attack C AP ABILITY 4 that was largely unused. The aircraft design proved flexible enough that an improved all-weather strike derivative, the F-15E Strike Eagle, was later developed, entered service in 1989, and has been exported to several nations. As of 2021, the aircraft is being produced in several variants. The F-15 has an all-metal semi-monocoque fuselage with a large cantilever, shoulder-mounted wing. The wing platform of the F-15 suggests a modified crop delta shape with a leading edge sweepback angle of 45 degrees. Ailerons and the simple high lift flap are located on the trailing edge. No leading edge maneuvering flaps are used. This complication is avoided by the combination of low wing loading and fixed leading edge camera that varies with spanwise position along the wing. Airfoil thickness ratios vary from 6% to the root to 3% at the tip. 43 The empennage is of metal and composite construction, with twin aluminium composite material honeycomb structure vertical stabilizers with boron composite skin, resulting in an exceptionally thin tailplane and rudders. Composite horizontal all moving tails outboard of the vertical stabilizers move independently to provide roll control and some flight maneuvers. The F 15 has a spine mounted air brake and retractable tricycle landing gear. It is powered by two Pratt and Whitney F 100 axle compressor turbofan engines with afterburners, mounted side by side in the fuselage, and fed by rectangular windows with variable intake vents. The cockpit is mounted high in the forward fuselage, with a one piece windscreen and large canopy for increased visibility and a 360 degrees field of view for the pilot. The airframe began to incorporate advanced superplastically formed titanium components. In the 1980s, Dockin, F-15's maneuverability is derived from low wing loading, weight to wing area ratio, with a high thrust to weight ratio, enabling the aircraft to turn tightly without losing airspeed. The F-15 can climb to 30,000 feet, 9,100 meters, in around 60 seconds. At certain speeds, the dynamic thrust output of the dual engines is greater than the aircraft's combat weight and drag, so it has the ability to accelerate vertically. The weapons and flight control systems are designed so that one person can safely and effectively perform air-to-air -air combat. 44 The A and C models are single-seat variants. These were the main air superiority versions produced. B and D models add a second seat behind the pilot for training. E models use the second seat for a weapon systems officer. Visibly, the F-15 has a unique feature vis a the other modern fighter aircraft. It does not have the distinctive turkey feather aerodynamic exhaust pedals covering its engine nozzles. Following problems during development of this exhaust pedal design, including dislodgement during flight, the decision was made to remove them, resulting in a 3% aerodynamic drag. Increased.45 the F-15 was shown to be capable of controlled flight with only one wing. After a mid-air collision which removed the complete wing, the pilot quickly learned how to fly the aircraft and landed safely. Subsequent wind tunnel tests on the one wing model confirmed that controllable flight was only possible within a very limited speed range of plus 20 knots, an angle of attack variation of plus 20 degrees. The event resulted in research into damage adaptive technology and a system called Intelligent Flight Control System.